back-to-back La Liga titles, a few Levante goals from an undefeated league campaign, and a Copa del Rey are the highlights of Ernesto Valverde's time at Barcelona. Despite his success, fans of the club are less than complimentary about the current manager. Valverde isn't alone, though. Today, we're taking out our time capsule and looking at Heleno Herrera's first tenure at Barcelona and the similarities between the two, but also what makes them so, so different. Hi, I'm Dan Hilton, and this is the Barcelona Podcast YouTube exclusive. The best place to start with these two is the parallels between them. Valverde is currently in season three at the club, while Herrera lasted three seasons in his first go-around. At this point, Valverde's two La Liga titles and one Copa del Rey match those of the legendary manager from Argentina. By the time Herrera's tenure at Barcelona ended in 1960, the fans had completely turned on the manager, much in a way that kool have had with Valverde. The big difference is that the narratives around Valverde are occurring as much online as they are in Catalonia. One can only imagine how the Mercurio Herrera would have been viewed by the message boards. This is the point where the two divert, however, and their differences are actually how people will remember them. While Valverde gets criticized for not motivating his players, Herrera's time at the club ended, at least in part, because he tried to motivate certain players a little too much. Barcelona star player under Herrera, Lazo Kubala, was famous for his nightlife and ability to come back from a late night and still be the most dominant player on the field. This clashed with the man nicknamed the Wizards' emphasis on discipline, forbidding players to drink or smoke and monitoring what they ate, an almost revolutionary idea in the 1950s. His suspension of a player while at Inter became a famous anecdote after the player said that the team, quote, came to play in Roma instead of, quote, came to win in Roma. In the end, the Barcelona brass backed their star Hungarian instead of Herrera, and ultimately the toxic relationship ended his first run at Barcelona in 1960 after Barca lost to Real Madrid in the European Cup semifinal. It makes you wonder for Valverde's case if it was Madrid instead of Liverpool. But I digress. Valverde's relationship with the veteran players seems to be the opposite. They appear to really support him as he manages their minutes and form in the back half of their careers. Tactics are another place where the two combine. The defensive nature of Herrera's 5-3-2 does bear some resemblance to Valverde's 4-3-3, but in truth, Herrera's Inter Milan are the real comparison, not his Barcelona. The Argentine's Barcelona felt a tad revolutionary. The fullbacks got forward and the Blagrana played with dynamism, fluidity, and attacking threat. It was at Inter where Herrera received a lot of the same criticism about boring defensive football in a system and with players that should be doing more in the goal-scoring department. Sound familiar? The one big feather in Herrera's cap, before conquering Serie A and Europe at Inter of course, is the two Intercities Fairs Cups that he won. Looking at the level of the competition and nature of traveling to other big clubs in Europe, without the publicity of the European Cup, think of the Intercities Fairs Cup a little more like the Europa League. Madrid were improving their cachet with the European Cup, but Barcelona had to settle for the secondary trophy, as only the league winners would participate in the European Cup in the early days. The final major difference between the two is the way that Herrera's bold approaches to both tactics and player management changed the sport forever. His legacy lies in the Catanaccio with Grande Inter, but his time at Barcelona laid the groundwork. His time with Barca wasn't over, as Herrera would return in 1979 through 1981, winning one more Copa del Rey. Herrera had a personality that reminds people more of Jose Mourinho than it does Ernesto Valverde, but the parallels between Barcelona's current managers and one of the game's all-time greats are fair to recognize. Herrera's first tenure at Barcelona lasted three seasons, two La Ligas and a Copa del Rey in Spain. Herrera's next job made him a legend, but Valverde may not have the same luxury. Unlike Herrera, Valverde's job appears safe based on his relationship with the players and the board, but football is fickle and no manager lasts forever. If you like this video and want more like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell for notifications. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon, and Forza Barca!